<laughs> okay, take two. Everyone, I'm Kat, and today I'm spraying pottery. Sometimes if you have a fear of things, you just gotta do it. We're gonna have fun, and hopefully I'm not gonna accidentally spray glaze my house. Alrighty. Or my truck. Not in your truck. about that folks I just wasn't prepared for how loud that compressor is. My sister had found it for me and I bought it from her after she bought it for me um, off a of Craigslist or a local ad of some sort, Facebook Marketplace, something. Um, I'm just really glad she found it because I didn't really need anything massive. I just needed something that worked. Here I am struggling with trying to get the tip clear. After a few moments, it decided to harden and spray. And so, I was this being the first time I've ever done anything like this, I didn't know how fast it would do it. I'd just seen on videos that it would. So, I was just struggling trying to figure out what in the world is going on. But finally, I figured, okay, now I just need to unscrew the one going into the jar and then spray it with the top tip with the air compressor and it cleared it right out still trying to get it all together just struggling I wanted to show this part because not everybody shows everything that works and doesn't work and I just wanted people to see that the first time you do something it's not going to be perfect it's always a learning experience this is my first time with a compressor, first time with a spray gun, first time with anything like this. And so I was just excited to be trying it. Most people don't ever get the chance to spray their glaze onto pots. And here I am getting to try it. I was just hoping that I wouldn't bother my neighbors with the sound of the compressor. It just seemed louder to me than it really did to them, I guess. Because I usually don't make a lot of noise out there. Yay, it works, it works, it works. Lesson learned on that. Clean out that tip going into your jar. And I like the one I got. It was really cheap on Amazon. I'll try to remember to include in the description what I'd gotten. But I was just super excited. And the color I'm spraying right now is, let me see, what's the color I'm doing right now? I believe it's John's Cash Blue. And I'm using John's Cash Blue on um, Speckled Buff by Laguna. Speckled Buff isn't my favorite, but I figured it would hold up to all the different things I was doing to it with the wheel throwing and the, and the hand building. And so, get it used up. I tend to prefer um, Trinity T Mix 6 with and without Grog, and then I like the the oh Buffalo Wallow. I love Buffalo Wallow, and then I also like um, the B3 by I think it's Laguna B3, and so I hope to get some more of that. That was the last ones I tried, so. And here's a little planter that I had hand built. I just wanted to go freeform on it. And I think it turned out cute. 
put the little tentacles on there like plants growing. And then I'm spraying it with also the the um, John Ash Blue from John Britt's book, um, Book of Midfire Glazes. Now on this, I know I'm probably not spraying them thick enough because this is my first time, so I'd rather go thicker than thinner. I can always go back and reglaze if I need to, uh, but I'd rather kind of know where my limits are as far as how thick I have to go. Like I said, since it is my first time doing this, just pretty exciting, really. I mean, I never, it was something I've been wanting to try for a couple years, but I just never thought I'd be able to get to. And I bought the um, tool set to go on it at Harbor Freight, just in a general mix of stuff. Here I am bringing in some plates that I made. And you can go back and see the video on those. I'm going to be spraying those with John's Cash Blue. And then I'm going to take a swipe in the middle with Licorice, um, also from John Britt's book. The original, the first glaze I used was Odyssey Clear from Amazing Glaze. So I only used three glazes on all of these spraying for this entire load, just in different ways. Um, once again, it's not thick enough but better than over thick and not knowing what I'm doing. But I was so excited by this. And I have decided that this is probably my favorite way to glaze. I think I'm going to do this a lot. Super, super, super exciting. And just to be noted, now that I know what I'm doing a little bit, I will be getting a a box to spray with as far as like a paint box spray box the wind was very light um, on this day and so I kind of had it blowing away from me how I'd set up my table so it wouldn't blow into my face the only problem I was having was it was so bright outside I couldn't tell where um, if I was videoing correctly and also I had no idea where to put that that spray gun I'm gonna have to make like a holster or a something to put it in and attach it to the table so that's point number two spray a little more attach it to the the something to the table to put the gun on because it was just clunky as all get out I had a vision for this um, these plates and I ha I know what the use is going to be for them and I'm going to make some, another set too um, here in a few days and so also in a few days you'll get to see the video um, the kiln opening video showing what this all looked like and I want to really really encourage everybody to just have fun with your pottery we we'll get so into the technical and all of this and just, just have a good time with it. I'm just decided that I started this out just having fun and then I got to trying to, I don't know, I was just trying to have everything perfect and nothing ever was, but in the midst I'm learning everything and, and I decided I liked it when I was just experimenting with everything and just seeing what I can do. And so that's gonna be the biggest, I guess the biggest thing that I can do coming up is just try and just do fun stuff for a while we've all been so stressed and it kind of gets blasé and oh here I am I'm making this and I'm making that and I've got to do it perfect no you don't have to do it perfect just make it you make it you only I wish I would have sprayed a little more <laughs> <laughs> other than that I was a little scared I was scared of the gun I was afraid of the, the spraying I didn't know I was hoping it wouldn't blow up on me it was kind of the same feeling as I had whenever I first had um, used my kiln the first time I'm like with the kiln and trying to do a glaze firing it's scary 
because I didn't know what I was going to do doing and I'd never seen it done in person before just like I've never seen anybody in person spray glaze so I didn't know really at how thick how light how anything like on the kiln I didn't know how how to go about doing it um, because on my first firings were on the manual and so I had no idea I'm just making up stuff as I went and that's how we learn right I felt like a pioneer pottery person and now I'm getting a little bit better and I'm experimenting even more and I'm just gonna say my whole goal is never gonna be to have perfection it's just my goal is going to be to experiment and see what I like and to have fun with it. And hopefully if something works out every now and then. <laughs> Sometimes it works out. I've had like one kiln load that everything just turned out great. It was amazing. That was my best kiln load ever. Someday I'll have that feeling again. But in the meantime, here I am. Just learning and spraying. But like I said, I'm going to be, I'm going to be doing this a whole lot more. And all of this is for my remembering of and the excitement. And my husband was so proud of me. And every time I do something new that should be, you know, you just non-traditional female kind of thing. Um, I love it. That's so cool. And I did it. So yay me. Still getting these plates going. And I managed to not think as far as the paint paint fumes going. Here I am with the licorice going down the middle. Um, once again, unsure on how thick to go with it. I think it was pretty thin compared to the thickness I needed but here we are learning and so anyway I just had so much fun doing this biggest smile all day long I'm hopefully soon to stop bothering my neighbors with this compressor I try to be careful in the daytime because I know that's normally when I'm sleeping, but here I am awake at this time, and I know most people don't sleep in the day, but I do, and so it makes me really conscious about disturbing others. Thank you everybody for following along on this journey with me and watching me do my first spray glazing. I appreciate you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye.